What is that? See that? See that? What is that? Copy that, 19 feet. I would, uh, I mean, I, I would love to help you guys. I would love to be the one to rig that vehicle. Um, you know, we, we, we're still in Philadelphia. Um, is, is this something that's gonna happen on Monday? Uh, it looks like it is. The crane company is uh, available to do it Monday. Stingers is closed on Monday. Mm -hmm. So from a um, stand, people gawking standby position, it's ideal because the place is closed. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I have a definitive answer, I will call you and let you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you can touch base with John Hamill. Yeah. Um, and I would love for you to be there, and so would my family. Yeah. Since you're the one that found Jimmy and Correct. started this whole ball rolling for us of the possibility of getting him back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, any, any more help I can provide you guys, you know, I, you got it, man. Right. So, like I said, as soon as I have an answer, I will shoot you a text. Okay. Uh, and let you know for sure and give you a timeline. Absolutely. All ready? Yep. Thanks, Doug. I appreciate it. Hey, you're, you're very welcome, Dominic. You, you, you have a wonderful right. evening. Bye-bye. You too. Have a safe day. Yep. Bye-bye. Oh, so that was uh, Dominic, uh, Jimmy's brother. Uh, supposedly, the township contacted the barge company. The barge company uh, requested in an astronomical fee to pull the vehicle out. Dominic knows a crane company that he's very close to, and it's the universe works in mysterious ways because Dominic didn't even have to reach out to that crane company because he knew the owner. The owner actually reached out to Dominic just to, just to make sure he was okay. Not even to, hey, I want to pull the car out. It was just a, hey, are you okay? I saw they found your brother. And uh, he was like, you know, if you guys need any of our help whatsoever with anything, you just let me know. And Dominic, knowing what the barge company said, then explained it to the crane, uh, crane company owner. And the crane company owner was like, we'll do it for free. You have nothing to worry about. Um, we're actually, we can do this on Monday. The Stinger's waterfront is closed on Monday. And uh, obviously, uh, Dominique wants us to be there to do the rigging for the vehicle as we were the one to find the vehicle. So wouldn't be surprised, wouldn't surprise me if the uh, Ridley Township Police Department isn't calling me soon to uh, set that up. Now, this stuff isn't set in stone but it looks like we're gonna be getting Jimmy's vehicle out of that river, the creek, there on Monday. So, universes work in mysterious ways and uh, good things happen to good people and the, the sense of community that this world still has is uh, very special, very, very special. A mystery nearly two decades old may have just been solved in Delaware County. Divers believe that they found the remains of a local man who disappeared back in 2003. Eyewitness News spoke with that man's family days after he went missing. I just want anyone who has seen him, even if you think you've seen him, call us. I don't understand how somebody just disappears. We, we've been looking, so many people have been looking. A couple of days ago, we discovered Jimmy's vehicle underwater, 24 feet deep after 19 years. Here in a few moments, we'll be 
be bringing his vehicle to the surface and putting a final end to this nightmare. Everybody could get together today. We pulled it together quickly. We got the worst day we could have got <laughs> here this spring. Uh, but we're just going to take our time here today and uh, and make this thing happen. And then safety and chief, you want to go over? Oh, we're going to go forward. Um, yeah. Uh, so again, I'd like to thank everyone, especially Doug and Adventures of Purpose. Thank you guys for being out, especially supporting our dive team. Um, we're, uh, we're just going to do a quick brief and a, a dry run of how we're going to be rating this with the divers and the crane team. We're going to do it all on land, make sure we got everything squared away, and uh, we're going to go from there. We'll, uh, we'll let everyone know when we get in the water, but please just everyone be safe, all right? Other than that, Cat, both Yeah, I mean, th this is a community effort, you know, I mean, everybody here making this possible wouldn't be possible, especially the pro crane guys, like selfless committing their company, their time, donating. We wouldn't be here today if, if they wouldn't have stepped up to make sure that that happens. So that's that's huge, that's huge. I don't know, $3 million crane sitting there, you know? Volunteer, that's that's a lot. So thank you guys a lot, we really appreciate it. We'll, we'll, we'll review the video, then we'll go over the rigging, then we'll suit up. And yeah, we'll sounds great. Cool. Cool. So we're gonna go review the footage so that we all have an idea of what I already have in my mind. I was down there, Anthony was down there. We know what we're looking at, but for us to be safe and thorough, all of us are now gonna know exactly what we're working with down there uh, per se. You know, the video is kind of, you know, there's not a lot of visibility in the video, but it at least give us a sense of what's there. At this point, I have the plate in my hand already. He's showing me the pylon. That's the windshield. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. You can't see anything. That's the hood peeled up. It's to the bottom of the vehicle is buried, you know. But the all the tops of all four wheels are exposed. Uh, I made sure I, I checked that when I was down there. So it's yeah, yeah. So that the style rim? That looks just like the style rim. Yes. Um, yeah, and with his two with his two inch straps, but what I would like to do is we we can get our zip ties on the strap depending on the ends of his strap, and we fit just fish the the zip tie through the rim and pull it through. Because fighting with a strap it can be a little bit more difficult than just sticking a zip tie through and then pulling the strap right around. Yeah, so. Minus some spreader bars, you know, we'll have the seven inch spreader bars so that the straps aren't pinching on the body at all. And that, that's exactly how it will look. Each, each rim, um, they'll, they'll go um, horizontally across the vehicle and they'll drop two arms down. And uh, yeah, man, this, this is just, a, it's just a matter of getting down there and getting the straps secured through the rim and it's a, it's really, really um, easy, just methodical, slow and methodical. So if the straps are going to be easy to put through the rim, we'll just use that. If not, we'll put zip ties on the end. And then zip ties are so easy to put through those rims and then jerk the strap right through. This is by far the most complex recovery uh, that we've ever done here at Adventures With Purpose. And we're very, very honored to have such a community presence here today working together to make sure that this happens efficiently and as thorough as possible. That is what the true meaning of community is really about. The, the selflessness of pro crane being here 
donating their services and their entire cruise time, the permits that had to be acquired for each county to even drive this cane through it, just, it, it, it says a lot about everything that's going on right here. And it would not be possible without them. The oh. other company, uh, I'm not gonna name the company, but the other company um, that was attempted to bring in wanted an astronomical amount of money for this. And this company is out here on their own dime helping the family out. And you guys need to take the time. Please go leave Procrane great reviews. Tell them how much you appreciate this. It, this would not be possible without them. Having this type of equipment is the only way that this happens without completely damaging the marina that's out there. When we're done today and everything goes according to plan, this marina is going to be untouched. The township here isn't going to be burdened by a bunch of repairs that honestly they don't have the money for. So it's, uh, everything's gonna go, go according to plan. We're gonna make sure we everything does go according to plan every t the entire step of the way. It's cold, 20 degrees out here. This is uh, this not only the most complex recovery that we've ever done, but the conditions are insane. Anytime you're dealing with water in a current like this, uh, there's a lot of variables that we can't account for. So we're gonna do everything we can to stay safe as well. You guys of good. yours going in the water as well? Uh, just, it'll be just me. Just you? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Adventures right. with purpose, we'll have one diver in the water with our two times. Okay. Okay, and then how many on the dock? Uh, four plus a diver, so a total of five for adventures with purpose.
Hey Doug, you copy me? Are your guys' divers out? Still down there? Um, one is. Okay. One is, and so All is right. Anthony. Alright. Uh, yes, uh, not going according to plan. Just too much cabling, too many lines, too many divers. Do you have a spare fin in the trailer? I do not. But it's fine as long as we can just continue to get the wheels done. Help getting you out, take the thing. Yeah, I can't grab my secondary there. Hold on. Wheels too buried, you can't get the, uh, the, the, the uh, sling into the wheel. He's, he's moving to the back passenger side, see if you can sling that. Okay. okay. All right. What do you need from us? Uh, right now, I'm kind of like. Uh, I don't have my fin, and uh, one diver in the water is all we need. Um, get everything, you know, we can't account for everything, but with all the different cable leaks coming down, the lines, the tether, uh, it is unsafe for really any more than one diver at a time to be down doing the rigging or on the car. Okay. Do you want my diver to come up? No, no, your diver's fine. Okay. Um, my guy is right there hand in hand with him. Okay. So as long as we're not all carrying straps around, we were getting tangled up. So I've, it's a good thing I got lost my fan and got tangled up. My mask came off. There you go. Uh, right down here. Watch your legs. Tangled up, my mask got ripped off, I lost my fin, and the lines are just twisting up on it. It's, uh, it's the things you can't account for uh, in a recovery, especially an underwater recovery. You plan it as good as you want on land until you get underwater in adverse conditions and things change rapidly. So the tethers are a, I guess, an aspect we're never involved with. Tethering is it's a safe measure to do but when you have that combined with all of the other cables chains and straps it's really only good for just one diver to be down at a time and another diver top side ready to rescue which we have a diver top side ready to rescue and we have a diver down there now just situating it really we should only have one person on the car yeah is that bad yeah i was tangled up twisted up mask ripped off lost my fin every one of these we do we learn um, key in this is having so many multiple different lines down at once it needs to be done one at a time it's a learning curve but we're trying to use a spreader bar to protect the integrity of the vehicle so that we don't squish it uh, also having multiple divers on a vehicle trying to rig it underwater with tethered lines as well it just is a recipe for disaster and honestly the fact that I got myself unstuck and untwisted from all of that lines and chains is, is, is pretty epic. For a while, I, I thought we were gonna just have to raise everything with me twisted inside of it just to get me above water. So thankfully that didn't happen. side rear hooked up we just can't get the strap to the roof can't get the strap to the roof yeah it's, it's not it's not long enough to get to the roof well the the strap from the bar is plenty long enough to go down to it to compensate you know where the d-ring is so you can bring the d-ring down to it okay. any one of the d-rings the yeah, they're, they're, they're twisted up right now so there's there's no um, there, there's no finding the right one
So they got the passenger with really we have front driver, rear passenger. Okay. Um sit tight. And what are we doing now? Is he able to get to the other wheel? Okay. Are you able to get to the driver's side rear? He's at the driver's side rear now. Okay. So we have the passenger side rear hooked up. Okay. He's okay. at the driver's side rear now. Okay, so the passenger side rear is hooked up through the D-ring to the spreader bar. I'm sorry, say that again. We don't have a strap hooked up to the tire, correct? Not, no, not that I know we of, no. We do not have a strap hooked up to it. Is that it? Okay, so we need a strap on the driver's side rear. Yeah. Does your guy have a strap or not? Um, uh, no. Have my guy pop up, check air, then bring yeah, down. Yeah, 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 have him check air. He's, okay, so he's so got to be... Gonna do, so he's got a strap, he's working on rigging it now. Perfect, side rear. perfect. And then when my guy comes up, I'll have him take another strap down to him. He's not going to be able to get the driver's side rear. Not going to be able to get the driver's side rear. Yeah. So All right. You can have him pop up? Yeah, you can have him pop up. Okay. All right, it's fine. If you want to pop up, we can do it. Yeah, I, I, I think it's will try it with two? Yeah, yeah, we, 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 can, we can try it with two. We, we can't get to anything else, so we're going to have, we have no choice, really. The, uh, outside of that, the only other thing we're going to have to do, if that doesn't work, then we're going to have to pop windows and run straps and trains right through, through the, the body. Yep. Right through so the body of it, good. which we don't want to do. That's like last ditch effort. Um, I think this. I think it'll work. I don't see how it won't. We can just, just slow and break it free. When, when, when they're up, when, when he gets the confirmation and they come up, you, you can just start pulling a little bit. They don't want to watch when we're doing it. Um, we don't. His guy, yes. We we'll have to get another tank. So good, I can't get it. You got one though, right? Yeah, one's okay. definitely on there. And we got one on the front. Yeah, the other one's just too much rocks and shit. Yeah, the wheels. yeah. And you got yours done? Yeah, I checked three tires. I know are hooked to a D-race to the strap. Three, so which three? I, I know the driver's, the driver's side, front, passenger front, and the passenger rear. I know Both the front. D-race, yeah. Okay, all right. So, be careful, there's ice. It's ice, all this water is already ice. It's that freaking cold. Good. So what we're gonna do, leave, leave it on, leave it on for now. We're gonna raise the car to the surface, yeah, yeah, and you're gonna yeah. slip you're gonna yep. slip a strap all under, right. all right? Yeah, it'll take like five minutes. All right. We got the two front, and we don't have this driver rear, right? I didn't see it. I yeah, didn't we check don't it. have the driver rear. So we're gonna be pulling like get that. Level, get that strap so up. when it gets to the surface, we're gonna take that basket strap. You're gonna slide one side behind the wheel, and come around the front, other side behind this wheel. Okay. Go around the back, do the same thing. You're gonna slide it around the wheel, and then come around here, and then slide it around. So they're gonna be two U baskets. Yep, yep. All right. All right. And don't go underneath the vehicle at all at any moment. Yep. Just well, stay. Keep I gotta your be hand. careful with right. the curve. So right. I gotta be on the down curve side. Right. Any more guys in the water? Um, no. No. Okay. 
Let me take all that down. And then you can see it put this next door. If we have to, we'll set it over there on the shore before we put it too far, you know? Little by little. right now is wrapping, wrapping the, frame. the strap around the frame, one of the strongest parts of the vehicle to get a secure lift for the crane so this doesn't break off when he goes over the dock. So this is one of the best anchor points you can get. right now is the pylon is stuck in the vehicle which is uh, a, something that we could not account for but it was a possibility we knew could happen so now we are going to chop the pylon off and free it from the vehicle which then will give us enough lifting power as well because we're almost overweight
we go. Perfect. recovery of this magnitude and this complex for us to still be in the realm of success goes to show how dedicated everybody is here and the type of equipment we're using is compensating for areas that we could not account for. At this point, this recovery is an absolute success. Jimmy's vehicle is going to make its way onto the tow truck, onto the medical examiner's office where they will do a thorough examination of the vehicle for evidence and what's left. it so that we can upright it evenly because right now uh, it's just not in the position we need to do to put it on the wrecker so we're probably going to bring the wrecker over here and have it uprighted so we're going to disconnect the spreader bar and all of the rigging that way we can roll it over pick it up and just set it onto the tow truck be able to do exactly what we need to do it in a compact area because he was fully extended we were maxed out on weight actually a little bit overweight when we cut that pylon the pylon then dropped it below just the maximum limit of what the crane was able to pull at the angle it was at when we discovered this vehicle and the pylon in the vehicle we believed it was through the vehicle however now, upon recovering this vehicle, we know the pylon never made it through the vehicle. So the second we started to do the recovery today, the pylon moved immediately. So that was a variable we didn't think was possible. We thought that the pylon was drilled directly through the vehicle into the riverbed of the vehicle. 
into the riverbed. However, that wasn't the case. Tire over. And back here at home, a developing story in Delaware County today. Crews have removed a car with remains inside of it from Darby Creek in Ridley Township. And those remains are believed to be of James Amible, who went missing back in 2003. Divers with the group Adventures with a Purpose found that vehicle, and police say the discovery could be closure for Amible's family. This is uh, something that we've, we've been investigating for a long time. It wasn't just the initial missing person. It was following a lot of leads over the years, uh, following a lot of different uh, theories as far as, as, as the, the whereabouts of the missing person. So it, for, for us and for the family, it's closer. If it is, it, it is the victim. emotional day. The family contacted an independent diving team which vowed to search every body of water within five miles of where that man went missing almost 20 years ago. It led them to the Darby Creek and a huge discovery. Investigators had tied the missing man's vehicle, a green Ford Explorer, to his case. Adventures with Purpose, a volunteer diving team for Morgan, says it specializes with cold cases where vehicles are involved. It uses sonar technology to track them underwater. The divers called police when they found the vehicle with human remains inside. First responders helped extract the body as family watched from the docks.